Hi guys, it's me. How are we? I hope we're all well. It is mobility, movement, flexibility, molded into Chris Rick format to bring you the best in your body. So we're going to work through the different moves of the plane movements. We do some lunges, we do some squats, planks, different hinges, and we can do through our hips. Get all the muscles working through your core, through your upper body, through your legs. Shall we get started? Yes, we shall. Okay, what you will need is you'll need to get a towel. I'm going to use a band. So if you want to just go up the pot and get a towel, I would wait. I will be lying down waiting for you. Jackie, go and get a towel quick. Oh, this is your band. Quick. I'll wait for you. I'm sitting. Okay. Right, we have a little slur. Hello Sarah, you need a towel, you need a band, just a towel or a band, you need one. Are you ready next to you? Okay. Right, I'm going to lie down on my back, I'm going to put my feet flat, hands out to the side, palms down, and then just nice and gently dropping my legs side to side. When we do this, we want to remember to keep the hips down, okay? We're warming your lumbar spine up, that lower part of the back. So we're going to make sure we're keeping our hips down, getting that SI joint working. Nice and controlled. Nice steady start today. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so let's turn it into a bigger movement. So this time you drop your knees further down, keep locking through your tummy. So although your hips lifted off, you're not curling your back, make sure your tummy is engaged. Again, side to side, keep your shoulders down. So think about putting your shoulder blades together, engaging that tummy. There should be no pain through your back. I'm not trying to strain too much at all, but just warming those. Tummy muscles up and back muscles up. Perfect. Okay, let's go up to our side for me. Hands out. And let's do the opening of the chest. Go open. And then close. So what we're going to do is a dynamic flexibility exercise. Dynamic just means movement based. So again, we're not trying to strain. We're just trying to open out that first area of our back. Looking up as we open our chest. Try and keep your knees together if you can. That's good. Okay, let's turn it on to the other side. Up here. Open out. Oh, I'm stiff on that side. Good. Make sure you open your chest. We're pulling your shoulder blades together. Let's do it one more time. Good. Okay, let's go back onto your back again. So lie on your back. Let's do the basic first of all where we're bringing our knee up into our chest and then back down. Hello, Hill. How are you, my darling? So bring it in and then back down. Let's do one more of this leg. Nice basic hip flexor exercise. Just get those hip flexors warm. Let's do the other side. Nice and basic. When you take your leg back out again, make sure you're engaging your tummy. Okay, so try not to let your hips lift. Keep your tummy locked down. This time, bring that knee in. Hold on to your top of your leg. Squeeze it in to your chest. Release it and then back down again. Just join out. Have you been working all that time with your kids? <laughs> this home schooling thing, what's it like? Okay, so keep changing legs, keep locking down for you to make, keep making sure I don't want to suck the locking through your lats. And back down. Bring it in. Good, and back down. Okay, you'll need your towel or you'll need your band. So 
before you go and wear a towel, quick to come back through. You're going to put your foot onto your towel. Make sure it's at the top half, so across the ball of your foot, okay? You probably want to hold it quite high up. So what we're going to do is a hamstring stretch. So you're going to bring your leg up straight, flex that toe down, and then bend the knee and bring that down. So from the side, let me show you. So we're here, so up, nice and straight, flex it down, pulling against it, so you open your hamstring, bend the knee, and then back down again. Good, so straighten the leg, bring it up, flex that toe down, squeezing it up, try to keep your chest open, perfect, and bend the knee, and bend the knee. One more time, just straighten that leg, bring it up, relax those muscles, open out through your hamstring, bend the knee, and like that. Good, okay, let's change legs. So pop the towel band across the opposite foot. I'm on my left leg, so start straight. So once you're bringing it up into this position, you need resistance against it, okay? So really lock that leg out, flexing that toe down. Don't put too much pressure through it. Just want to try and warm it up. Bend the knee, bring it back down straight. And then back up again. Flexing that toe down. Elbows pull down as well, so grab that torso. My toes are actually nice and flat with your tummy and your lats engaged. Okay, two more times. Back to the front, and then back. Okay, 
and Jack in this is for you, the pigeon, the pigeon, as we call it in Yorkshire. So we're going to go in forwards with your left foot, bring left foot forwards, take it across the body. Now, easy version, your ankle and knee are quite a distance apart. If you want to make it harder, bring your foot higher up in line with your knee to make the angle big. Okay, so you've got to make it slightly easier and bend your knee. If you want to make it slightly harder, bring that foot higher up. If you're bringing your foot higher up, just pop your hand just behind it so you can't go back down. Okay? And then we're going to drop forwards. So whichever position you're in, make sure that right hip and left hip are horizontal to the floor. Try not to let your hip open out. Try and keep it down. Think about your back, the shoulders back and in. So if you need to be in this position to keep your shoulders back and in, fine. If you can do it with your arms down, then do so. Good. Okay, bring yourselves up. Right, change legs then. So right leg forwards, bring it across. Okay, you decide where that leg needs to go. You've got tight hips, you probably want your ankle further back. Let's think about that third spray again then. So here in this position, can you keep your hips square on? Okay, are you making sure your upper back is flat, so your shoulders may flat in? If you can go down further and just make sure you're not just doing this. Okay, I don't want to see your shoulders up to your ears. I want to see it back and down. Forwards, 
down, leg goes back up. Okay, last time, let's do this. Dropping that knee, locking that toe in. No curl in that lower back. Big push up, perfect, shake your legs. Right then, this time we're going to do a side lunge. So feet in the middle, stepping out to the side, bending the knee. Now when you bend the knee, I want you to move your hip across. Okay, this leg straight, this leg is straight up. So if I can square on with you, I'm stepping out and bring my hip around. Okay, don't want it here, want it around. Okay, then you're going to step it up and then you're going to change onto the other side. Okay, so let's go to your left first. Okay, so step it out, left leg, hip round to your hinge in, back to the centre and then across to the side. Let's have our arms out. Okay, arms out. Good, back to the centre. And again, so arms out in front, locking those shoulders down the back, bring that hip round. Bring it up and then back to the opposite side. Okay? Look at this leg. This leg's going to be straight, not here. Round, back to the centre. Woo! Right, one more on the right side. Arms out. We bring your back straight. Don't lean it forwards too much. Still hinging through your hips. And back to the centre. Perfect. Right, this side. Clock lunge. So I'm going to do your right leg first. Okay, watch me. So we go up, forwards, then we do the side lunge, then we go back with the same leg, okay? Then we change legs, okay? Then we go back again, then we go out to the side, and then we go forwards. So we're going to go 12 o'clock, 3, 6, 6, 9, 12, okay? Let's try it. So we're going to go 12 o'clock first with your right leg, off you go. So take your arms out to the side, drop it down, push it up, step it out, arms out in front, step it up, step it back, hands above your head. Bring it up, change legs. So step back, arms above your head, out into the side lunge, arms out in front, and then a front lunge, arms out to the side. Okay, good. Okay, this time we're going to do it again. Watch the change. You're going to step forward. This time, when you go down, you're going to rotate over your straight leg. When you rotate, keep your arms back. And when you're rotating through your core, I don't want this. That's not a rotation. Okay, you're going to keep your shoulder blades back and down. Rotate, centre, back up. Okay, let's give it a go. So 12 o'clock first, so step forward, arms out, down, rotate slowly, without pulling your arms back, centre, and then back up. Good. Out to the side, side lunge, arms out in front, bring it back up, perfect. Now watch the change. Step it back, arms up in the air. You're going to go over towards your side of your front leg. So you're opening here and down your hip flexor. Okay, back up again, change legs. So step, arms up, over and out to the side. Keep locking that breathing loop, locking your tummy, centre, back up, side lunge. Arms out in front, shoulders back and in, back to the centre. Forward lunge, arms out to the side, keep those arms back as you rotate, locking that tummy, back to the centre, push it back up again. Perfect, right. Last one, okay? Front same, when we do the side lunge, this time arms up in the air and you're going to reach across, okay? So from here, so you can see me, big step out, arms up, bend. Reach across. Bend this knee more as you're reaching. Okay? Right. We're going to go forwards first. Then we're going to do the rotation. Okay? So right leg, step it forwards, arms out to the side. Bend that knee. Now lock that tummy, shoulders back. Don't bring your left arm across. Good. Centre, push it back. Good. Side lunge. So arms up in the air. 
bend and then drop that weight more. Keep your arms next to your ears, back to the centre, back up. Good, keep your arms up, step it back, down. You're going to rotate to the side, keep that chest open, reach those arms up, centre, back up. Good, okay, left leg, going back, arms in the air, in that knee, lock your glute back, drop it to the side. As you've got a big sheet of glass in front of you, open that chest, reach up, centre, back up, good, side lunge, arms look up, reach it across, keep locking that tummy, good, back to the centre, and back up, forwards lunge, step forwards, arms out, drop the knee, lock your glutes, shoulders back and out, rotate through that tummy, don't bring your right arm across, don't place the back in. Centre, push it back up. Good. Give your arms a nice shake. Have a little drink if you wish. Right, single leg balance. So, you might want to hold on to something. Okay, so if you want to just position your camera so you can hold on to the wall, something to do so. We're going to do the basic one first, so we're going to open out our quads, okay? So basic one, from the side, bring your foot up, hold on to your foot, okay? Now here, pull it back, but I'm also squeezing my glute and my tummy, okay? So I'm pushing, my hip falls. You don't want it here, you want it to push forward. When you push forward, keep that leg back, okay? So that's the basic position. Now, if you can, you're going to take your arm out in front and you're going to drop forwards. As you drop forward, push your foot into your hand. Okay, so push your foot into your hand and hold it in that position. Okay, keep your feet to me. Three, two, one, bring it back to the centre and then back down. Okay? So you go with what is good for. I'm going to turn it around so you can see me. So let's do the basic one first. So foot to bottom. If you want to use a wall like this, then do so. Okay, the heat. So, pull the knee back, squeeze your glute. So you're pushing your hips forward. So I want a posterior knee to it. So you're pushing your back, back. Okay? Arm out in front, but lean into it. Lifting that leg back and out. Okay, you lift that leg up, you bring your hips horizontally square to the floor. Woo! Turn it. Three, two, hold on, and relax that should be left. Pretty good. Woo! So you should feel that here in the front of your butt. What's that, Anne? You want to do that one again because you love it so much, because your ankles are so strong and powerful. Okay, let's do it again, let's run. So, face to the side, bring my right hand first. So, bring your knees together, push your hips forwards, come on, stability. Arm out in front, reach it forwards, lifting that leg up, hips horizontal. Slightly bending your standing leg. Bring it back down and then change the leg. One more time. So foot to bottom, knees together, pull that knee back, squeeze your glute, and it's here posterior tilt. Arm out to the front, lifting that leg, pushing your foot away from you. Lift it as high as you can. Slightly bending that standing knee, bring it down, and relax it there. Perfect. Good, good, good. Okay, we're going to go down into a squat position. So, legs reasonably wide apart, slightly turn your feet out. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is if you get your towel out or your band, we're going to hold it above our heads now. When we've got our arms above our heads, what I want you to concentrate on is letting your shoulders lift up. Okay, so I want your hands about here. But don't put them down, I want them going up. Okay, 
okay? But you're going to make sure you engage your lats. Keep your arms back. So here, we're going to go slowly down into the squat. Now you're going to go as low down as you can, okay, until you start feeling as though you're going to lean forward. So from the side here, okay, keep my arms back. I'm sitting down into it. And I'm bringing myself back up. Okay, what I don't want is that position. Okay, so you're going to slowly go down into your squat position. Okay, so sitting down into it. Let's go. Sitting your bum down, take your knees out. Arms straight. Good. Bring it back up again. Perfect. Okay, three more times. Let's go. Good, sitting that foot down, bring it back up. Okay, let's have a look two more times. Show me how it is. So sitting down, good. Bring it back up. So make sure you open those hips. Okay, you go down, as you go down into it, open those hips out. Okay, with your arms up. So get those knees out. Good. And then bring yourself back up. Third, uh, right there. Jackie, we're going to do the breach squat. Okay? So you don't need your bag with your towel. Very similar thing. So we're going to have our feet in the same position. You're going to sit down into it. If you can, get your elbows into your thighs. Now in this position, I want to make sure that my shoulders are higher than my hips. So from the side, I'm going to go down into it. And I'm dropping my hips. But I'm trying to pull my shoulders back in. Okay, so I'm in this position. What I don't want is that position. Do a jacket. No, we don't want that position. So if your shoulders and hips are parallel to the floor, you've gone too low. You go to the position where you feel as though you're going to do that. Okay? Yeah? And then hold it down. Alright? You ready? Okay. Here we go. So slowly down. So you choose where that is. Now I can sit down so I can get my elbows into my thighs. So I'm opening up my hips into the preacher position. Shoulders back and in. Open that chest back as straight as you can. Okay? And then bring it straight back up. Good. How many more times? Should we do two more? Let's do two more because we're doing it in time. Okay? So slowly down into it. Good. Pop those elbows into your thighs if you can. Open those knees. Shoulders back. Bring it up. Excellent. Ready? Okay. Close your eyes. Nice and deep it in. As you go out, or you're sinking down into it. Open your eyes if you need to. Shoulders back in. Knees out. Sit the pump down. Three, two, one. Up and straight your arms and legs. Uh, right. On my screen, I can see up the TV up there. Zoe says, it's Helen's birthday. Helen, it's your birthday. 21 again. So I'm going to give you a quick first a happy birthday screen to start. If you want to sing with me, that would be great. While you are singing, we are going to take our feet apart, hands across our chest, and we'll do three big deep breaths in. But you can sing at the same time, you ready? Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, second one, to you. Happy birthday, dear Helen. Happy birthday to you. Bring your hands together, please, people. Bring them down in front. Give me a bow. Give you back a round of applause. Very nice. Well, happy birthday, Helen. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mwah. Love to you all. Hope you enjoy. See you soon, folks. Bye to bye.